Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be going over how we did in the budget this week, preparing for the next week. I'm gonna um, stuff my wallet and you guys are gonna see some special envelopes in the wallet today that you haven't seen before. I'm also gonna be stuffing my sinking funds and then doing a cash exchange or a bill swap at the end of the video. So if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, letting me know how June has gone for you and let's get started. Okay, so let me start out just by giving you guys a couple disclaimers. Um, if you are new to my channel, I did, do live near Main Street. So if at any point you hear loud zooming, that's what that is. Secondly, your girl has not eaten today, so my stomach is mad at me. So it just growled just right now. I hope y'all didn't hear that. But if you hear it, my apologies. Just go ahead and ignore that. So let's see, this past week we had Father's Day. I had my car insurance, Apple Music insurance. We gotta talk about that. Um, my Wi-Fi bill and I pay my taxes this week. The car tax, let me tell y'all what happened. So Sunday, I spent the whole day with my dad, just like for Mother's Day, I spent the whole day with my mom. And my dad has never seen the Creed movies. So um, I told y'all in like my last video, I'm like a movie connoisseur. Like I'm always on the hunt for good movies. So I go to my parents' house and they're like, what's a good movie? What's out? What can we watch? So I didn't have anything, but I was like, have y'all ever seen the Creed movies? You know, the trilogy? And I said, no. Y'all, we watched Creed 1 on Father's Day. My dad was hooked. The movie w was over, it ended, and it was kind of later in the day. My dad was like, Creed 2? And I was like, sure. So we put on Creed 2, loved it, he's so hooked. And um, also my gift for him, I procrastinated. It arrived Sunday night. So I ended up having to go back to my parents' house on Monday to give my dad his gift. And then as I went back, he wanted to watch Creed 3. So. <laughs> Basically, I spent two days watching the Creed trilogy with my parents, and so car tags and car appointment did not happen. I scheduled it, but I didn't make it. So you guys know that I'm going on my solo vacation this week, and I had to make sure that I got all of the orders done that was due. So I just spent Monday, all of Monday, working on orders, and then in that um, evening, I went to my parents' house. I couldn't go too late because they have to work the next day, so... Didn't get to go get my car done, but I am not working next Monday, this or this coming Monday. Um, so I will be getting this taken care of this Monday for sure. So I did not have um, any no spend days this week. I feel like I may have had one, and I think that was Sunday, but I'm honestly not too sure. So I didn't notate any no spend days, but again, I've been spending a little bit of money just a little um all throughout the week i did today i did yesterday so i'm not going to worry about it for now um coming up for the next week i have my aunt's birthday and then one business bill and then we are done for the month of june you guys are going to see my july monthly budget set up um hopefully on wednesday if not wednesday on thursday and when i come back from vacation um i'm going to be scheduling these appointments for july so this week i'll be scheduling these so this is my monthly budget page this is where i keep track of like everything financial that's going on in the budget for the month so car insurance was actually um $99 they have gone up so I kind of mentioned this on my story on Instagram and told you guys um about that or told you guys that they went up so basically um the dude said that you know with inflation and everything like the cost of parts and stuff for your car if there's an accident the cost of parts have increased which I believe um and so that's why our car insurances are increasing. And he was like, I was like, okay, well, what discounts do I get? Because I am, you know, accident free. Now I do get speeding tickets every now and then, but you know, I do what I'm supposed to do so that they don't get on my record. So, you know, like, and he was like, well, you know, you already, we already have all those discounts applied to you. Now, $99 is not a lot for car insurance. My car is paid off, but I used to pay like $50 
80 something dollars a month. And before the pandemic, I would actually have experiences and I'm with Progressive. I would actually have experiences with Progressive where um, you know how your insurance renews every six months? My rates would go down. So, you know, I'm just gonna try to weather the storm with Progressive through this inflation period because I have actually seen these people go down on my car insurance, you know, over the years, I guess when maybe parts go down, the cost of parts go down or whatever. I have experienced that with them. So I think that they're a good company and I think they're a company of integrity and, you know, I kind of want to just weather it out and see what happens and see how things get once the economy gets a little bit better. So I'm going to stay with them, but you know, I would love to know who you guys are, um, have car insurance with. So if y'all could let me know down below, just so that you know, if I feel like shopping around, you know, I'd rather have your guys' input than just, you know, nobody. So, and I have gone, I've, I have had Nationwide before and I'm not interested in them. No offense to anybody who has Nationwide. I just did not have a good experience with them. So, yeah. All the bills are paid for the month. So, I didn't spend all this money on Father's Day, but I am going to be using the money for my upcoming trip. So, I just allocate that I spent it all and we are on track with everything else. I still don't know what my extra electricity bill is, but that should be coming up pretty soon. For my solo trip, however, we are going to budget $500. Okay, y'all, so um, I do have money left over, and today's the 23rd, so today starts my last uh, paycheck budget for the month. So for this week, I do have some money left over in these categories. However, whatever's left over, I'm putting it toward my solo trip. So I have to um, allocate that I've spent it all. Well, I will, be, I will be spending it all. So I will allocate that I've spent it all, even though I do have some money left over. Um, so let's see. Eating out was zero. Meds was zero and yeah i'm not gonna get anything else for um beauty for this month so i'm just gonna allocate that i've spent it all so that means that um spending minus 24 i have 14 dollars left for the month for gas i have 118 and that's 73 and you guys know I have not been spending a lot of money on gas. I literally fill up like every two weeks. It is the end of the week and I still have a full half, a half a tank left. Like it's dead, dead on in the middle. Um, groceries, I spent 70, 68 for the rest of the month. Um, home, I spent 15, from 30 is 15. And then eating out, I still have $56 left. Meds, I still have 50. And then beauty, I have nothing. So for this week, it's a little bit interesting because I'm not necessarily stuffing my regular, um, my regular cash envelopes because I made some travel envelopes. And I'm not really sure how I want to do it just yet so I think I'm just gonna leave this blank and we'll just kind of figure it out throughout the rest of this week for my travel vlog I will be using this section of my budget planner to log my transactions for that $500 budget I am going to be posting a travel on a budget vlog for you guys to see and just like I broke it down when I went to Vegas, I'm gonna break it down here as well for this coming up trip. This is my wallet and it is filled, it is so chunky. <sighs> my wallets are never this chunky. So um, I do, like I said, I had leftover money. I will be using all of this money. So that is why in my weekly check-in page, I had to notate that, um, that I've spent everything because even though I didn't spend it in this past week I'm gonna spend this money in this over this weekend so um, and we'll count this up toward the end well we're gonna count it after I take it out and I did 
I had like budgeted out this week, y'all, to the dollar, but then I ended up giving two dollars. It was some people, you know, at the red light, um, asking for some money for uh, a rehab group to help women and men get off drugs. And I gave them, I thought I gave them two dollars, but I gave them three. So I might be off a dollar in my stuffing for today. Or I may have a I may have a dollar left over, something like that. Um, so these are my receipts. I'm gonna sketch for fam fetch rewards because I am using my fetch rewards for my hotel in August. I'm gonna put my coins in the um, coin box and then these are my cards. These are my new travel envelopes. So travel is technically gonna be gas, right? But because I'm traveling, I might travel, you know, in different ways in the future. I just put travel instead of gas, food and drinks. This would kind of like technically be like an eating out envelope. So yeah. And then I have entertainment, relax and tips. So let's get into the saving challenge first. Well, no, let's count this first. So we can see what we are working with. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So I have $71. And some of this money was money that I had rolled over throughout the month from my envelopes. So today for the June um, saving challenge stuffing, I'm going to be stuffing the 16. I tend to try to save the smaller amounts for the beginning of the like the next month. So next Friday is our last Friday in June, but that's on the 30th and my rent is due on the 1st. So I just want to have a smaller amount to stuff next week. So we're going to take the 16 from here. So that's going to be 10, 15, 16. And then we'll put this in here. I'm trying to focus y'all so I don't mess stuff up. And I probably will still end up messing stuff up and that's okay. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to do is 45 is going to go to my travel envelope and 10 is going to go to the tips envelope. So this is new. This is something I've never done before. Um, so 20, 30, 40, 45, right? Yes. <laughs> 20, 30, 45. So 45 is going in travel because usually I go on more friend trips and group trips than solo trips. And I always just put money on my card because when you're with friends and you know, you might be sharing like Ubers and stuff, you just, it's easier to have money on your card. And tips is going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So, okay. So that's how I did that. Tips, tips is actually gonna get 15, but I was able to keep 10 from, from the wallet or get 10 from the wallet. So now I'm going to grab my money from the bank. So here from the bank, we have 51, 52, 20, 40, 60. So two, 60, 10, 20, 30. 290, 95, 300, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, and 36 or 7, 38, 39, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 359. Okay, so back to the wallet. Um, the only cash envelope that I'm going to stuff this week from the cash envelope categories is groceries, which is gonna get 50 and 70, which is what I normally give myself. Lately, it's 
I've been going over a little bit, not every week, like every other week. So I'm contemplating moving up in that envelope. And then 15 for home because I, I need um, stuff for washing my clothes. Um, yeah, I ran out of um, downy, so I need to get some of that. So that's gonna be it for these envelopes. I'm gonna move on to the travel envelopes. Travel got the 45. Food and drinks is gonna get 100. So I'm gonna do 50 and one. Entertainment is getting 34. So 20, 30, and I'm not telling y'all what I'm doing. You have to watch the vlog to see. 31, 32, 33, 34. Yeah, so the ticket is like 33 and some change, so I just round it up. And then relax is getting 85, so 50, 70, 80, and five. And then, like I said, tips was supposed to get 15. This uh, envelope is already stuffed with all these ones. So I think I'm supposed to add another five. But again, I feel like I'm going to be off. So I'm going to hold off on that five until after I stuff the sinking funds. And we'll see what I have left because I think I'm a couple dollars off because of what I gave. So that is all for the wallet. And it is stuffed. You guys know that I um, did not stuff my sinking funds last week because of um, bills and Father's Day and the tr upcoming trip. I just didn't want to do that. So this week we're going to get back on track with it. So today is the 23rd. And we're going to do one for 20, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, y'all should have saw me this morning, like <laughs> trying to figure this budget situation out. Like I've been on solo trips before, but I have not, again, used cash. I've just always been like, I'm putting it on my card it's what's easiest and but i want to use cash because you know it's always like russian roulette when everything's on your card and you're trying to just make sure that you didn't accidentally go over whereas with cash you don't have to worry about that you can see how much money you have so 500 600 10 15 25 Again, I'm going to be able to take care of car maintenance once I come back. I was just not expecting Father's Day to go the way that it went. Um, yeah, I didn't expect it to like carry over into two days, just about. So, and they didn't call me or anything to like ask me if I was still coming or I guess they don't do that. So I have 120, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43. And I am predicting that I'm gonna need more than this because um, I had some things I needed to get done that I've been kind of chipping away at, which is what that yellow paper is in the envelope. But I kind of just had this feeling the other day that let's just get it done. <laughs> like if I have to take money out of my account, so be it. Let's just get it done so that I can you know, like move past what needs to get done with the car and let's just get it done. So, um, outings is getting five for 25, 31 and two. $80, 
April and May is also getting five. So this is an envelope. I converted my LASIK and church envelope into April and May because um, those two envelopes I don't really need at the moment. And April and May are very busy times of the year for me as far as I have so many birthdays and then holidays and stuff around that time. So I'm trying to be proactive, just like I told y'all about like my car tires, how I was tired of car tires coming out of car maintenance. So I created a separate fund for it. That's kind of what this is. So 10, 15, 25, 30, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 36. Yeah, I have four people's birthdays in April. And it's not that like we celebrate them all every year, but this year we kind of did. Well, we ce I celebrated three of the four birthdays this year in April. So that was, it was a lot. And then May is Mother's Day and my mom's birthday is in May. So it's like double, you know. And so miscellaneous has 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then whatever I don't spend in my wallet on the trip, guys, I'm just gonna put it back in the bank into my savings account. Gifts is going to get $2 as well. Four, 25, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So yeah, if y'all have been on vacation so far this summer, where'd you go? How much did it cost? Because this is a whole conversation in my Vegas travel vlog. If y'all haven't seen that one, y'all gotta go check that one out. Um, because we definitely talked about some finances in the comments um, on that video. And I think that, you know, seeing budgeting in real life and what it's actually looking like beyond just here is really important for you guys. I think to see it's important for me to make sure that I'm using this system beyond the, um, you know, my videos, which I do. You guys know that. But, um, you know, I want it to be a part of everything that I do in life. So my guy baby has 20, 40, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm super excited to kind of bring you guys into my life, into the travel part of my life. And, um, you know, I hope that it inspires you to go out and have fun and enjoy yourself and your friends and your family and still be able to budget while you're doing it, honey. Medical is getting a five. For 70, 50, 60, 65, 70. And so that's gonna be all for the pri the high priority binder. Um, I'm gonna put these envelopes in their binders off camera and then I'll be back with the low priority. Okay y'all, so this is my low priority. Y'all know I am rocking the summer colors in these binders. I have the berry pink, and then in this binder, I have the yellow and the teal. Um, so, car tags is getting $2. So, this is another envelope that will be emptied out next week after I get my car inspected. Um, it usually, I don't know how much it's going to cost, to be honest but it usually costs a little bit under a hundred so 100 one two three four and five yeah that's what it usually costs but of course y'all know things have changed things have gone up i don't know if i'm gonna have a fee because i'm behind on it um i have no idea but i will let y'all know Electronics is getting two. So this is an envelope that mainly gets used 
for chargers. So I have the, wow. <laughs> I have um, a power, a 10 foot power charger or whatever. Um, and it usually costs about $20 whenever I have to re-up on it. So um, that's usually what I end up using this envelope for because it'll be like the most random thing ever, you know, like you just kind of wake up one morning and your charger's not working and you're like, okay, great. But the chargers are not, you know, five, ten dollars. They're like 20 and some change. So I keep that envelope for that as well as like earphones and stuff when they go out. Just so you don't have to, you know, take all that stuff out of your out of your budget, especially when you've already set it up for the week. And then something unexpected like that happens it's always nice to have sinking funds to cover it so in emergency we have 1200 10 15 20 25 12 25 and giveaways we are doing one i promise i'm done with the vellum sale um i think i finished the last one like monday or tuesday of this week because um i was waiting on some more materials to come through so i'm officially done with the vellum sale and i did let y'all know that once i was done with that that um we will be doing a giveaway so i have quite a few videos that i'm uploading next week guys so y'all are gonna get the travel on a budget vlog y'all are gonna get the my july monthly budget set up of course the cash stuffing so um i'm looking for the timeline for the giveaway to be er to start early to mid july um because i got i have a lot i'm not going to be available this weekend and i have a lot coming up in the next week as far as the content and work um so i have to you know pace myself to not get overwhelmed so we're gonna push the the giveaway to like the first in the first couple weeks of july um so 20 40 41 42 43 44 and then that should be good because then i should have right about 50 dollars um for the giveaway which is what i want to have because i either just give like the 50 to one person or i'll do 25 for two people, ooh, y'all let me know. Okay, should we do one winner with 50 or two winners with 25? I don't know, I haven't decided. But y'all can let me know what y'all think. Christmas is getting three. So, why do I feel like, yeah, something's definitely off here. <laughs> 50 one two three four five six seven eight fifty eight or maybe that's an extra five up there maybe that five was supposed to go i think that five was supposed to be tips y'all that threw me all off it threw me off because i had my budget i had my money like budgeted to the t for this video and then it's so hard to say no when people are like you know on the corners and and it wasn't a homeless person like i said it was a person dealing with you know trying to raise funds for the rehab for the adult they gave me a card and everything and i was like how how am i supposed to say no to that <laughs> so functions have 21 2 3 4 5 6 and 7. I think we're right on track though because I have two dollars left which is for car tires right there and then it looks like I have a five left which will be the five for the 15 for tips so it actually okay it worked out I thought I was gonna be like a dollar off so car tires has uh 50 70 80 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 Okay, y'all, we have enough money for one tire. So, <laughs> this is one tire. If I have an issue with one tire, roll over a nail or something, we got the money for it. Okay, so I'm gonna put um, these back in the binder. I'm gonna put that in the wallet and then come back for the cash exchange. Okay, y'all, so 
Um, I'm using the white one today. I actually used the pink one too, but once again, they kept my sticky note. Um, these are actually on their way to me, so they will be in the shop soon. So this is where I made up for the $2 that I gave the guy on the street because um, I was pulling out $3.15, but I ended up adding that to there. So I, that's how it ended up working out. So we have a total, I took out three seventeen, dollars but I put the two back. So we're, we are working with three fifteen dollars for the exchange. And then I'm using my cash um, breakdown worksheet right here that's going to let me know what each fund is getting. And so starting with high priority, and doing cash exchanges are really important guys because it preserves your envelopes and your binders. You don't wanna be stuffing this stuff to the brim and um, you know, it just alleviates having so much bills in the house. So birthday is getting a five. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, retirement is getting 20. So 10, 15, 20. I try to keep these um, envelopes as small as I possibly can. So I do an exchange once a month, typically at the end of the month before a new month begins. Car maintenance is also getting 20. So 10, 15, 20. cannot wait to get rid of that yellow paper that's like everything I need to get done on my car and I'm like slowly chipping away at it and checking it off but I'm so tired of paper outings is getting a 10 and April and May getting the work so we're doing 20 10 15 20 we're doing 10 5 10 and we're doing a 5 1 2 3 4 5 miscellaneous is getting a 5 one, two, three, four, five. Gifts is not getting anything. My goddaughter is getting a five. One, two, three, four, five. Medical is getting a 20. So 10, 15, 20. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the low priority binder and we're gonna come back and stuff that one. But well, we're exchanging, not stuffing. We already did that. So car tags is getting a five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And um, electronics, nothing. Emergency is getting a 20. So 10, 15, and 20. Um, giveaways is not going to get anything. Christmas is getting a five. So the ones that are not getting anything, I've already gone through them and there's nothing to break down. One, two, three, four, five. Functions is next. It is also getting a five. Let me see. So one, two, three, four, 
five. And then the car tires is going to get um, a 20. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to um, break down is going to be my, y'all look how slim that is, my saving challenge. So this is another one, because even though it's a zipper envelope, it can still stretch out and lose its shape and all that. So saving challenge is going to get a 100. So I'm gonna take the 50s and a one and then 10, 20. And then 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So um, I'm also going to exchange down some of the bills in my um, wallet because it's so chunky. So I'm going to exchange those. But I'm going to do that off camera um, because that wasn't a part of the plans. But I'm, I have some bills over here that I can use to do that. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to let me know how June has went for you. Technically, we have one week left. So, you know, we still have that um, week left in the month, but I would still love to hear. Again, um, please let me know what car insurance companies you guys use or what you what your thoughts are on the giveaway one winner two winners just let me know down below i am going to be out of town this weekend so i might respond a little bit late to your comments or i might read them a little bit later but i am going going to read them thank you guys so much and i hope to see you um next week bye